Okay guys, now we are going to learn how to deal with maps. In IELTS listening part 2, you often come across maps. And maps are like questions 11 to 15, 11 to 16, 11 to 14 and all that. Uh, whenever there is a map, the first thing is you need to be familiar with the language they use. The first thing is they use prepositions. And the special prepositions that they use, they are called prepositions of location. Right? Prepositions of location, prepositions of place, and all that. Along with prepositions, the second thing is, you know, whenever you open Google Maps, and there is that lady, turn left on to Kyabani, something like that, okay? Turn left, turn right. So do one thing, just use Google Maps. Right? Whenever you're going to a place where there are so many turns and all that, use Google Maps in the language they are using, on the corner, on the left, take second left, first right and all that. So that language is appropriate. Or you can watch a short video on YouTube. Just type there how to give directions in English. Right? They say go straight ahead and on the first right, second left, right? Then the prepositions in the corner, behind, in front of, next to, adjacent. Now if they say go past the bridge, what does that mean? And if you say cross the bridge, then you have to cross. So these prepositions will help you a lot. Now, let's see. The title is Croft Valley Park. When they give you half minute to read the questions, for maps, don't read the questions. For maps, read the map. Okay, now let's read this map. First, you, you can see they have given east, west, north, south. So it's a very good idea that on the top of the map, you write capital N. Bottom of the map, capital S. Left side, capital W. Left side. And the right side, capital E. Okay. Now, if they use anything like west, north, south, east, you will be clear. And if they say uh, southwest corner, northeast corner, what is in the northeast corner? Northeast corner. Northeast corner mein kya hai? Option C. Simple. Option C. Okay. Now, let's identify. There are two gates. North gate and south gate. So, either they will enter from north gate or they will enter from so, south gate. And then you can see old museum. So, if they say in front of the lake and next to old museum, that is D. In front of the lake and next to old museum, that is option D. If they say behind the glass houses and among the trees, H, behind the glass houses and among the trees, okay? And if, if they say, uh, if you enter from the south gate, turn left and it is on your left side, G. And if they say enter from the south gate, turn left until you reach a place where there is a way off towards west side, then it is A. And if they use the word adventure playground, so I mean these words will help you. In the audio, when they use a certain word, it's going to be on the left, right, above, before and all that. Now, question number 11. So we will not read the questions because questions are only the words. And these words will be spoken in the audio one by one. Cafe, toilets, formal gardens, outdoor gym. They'll speak about them. There's no information here. Information is in there. And one more thing. For maps, if you want clear understanding, your pencil should move with the audio. If they say, now please let's practice it, let's practice it. Uh, when you enter from the south gate, go straight ahead until you reach a bend. E, until you reach a bend. From there, turn left and you reach the north gate. Just before the north gate, you will find it on your right. B. B. See that? So if your pencil is moving with the audio, you will reach there. And pencil is static and you are looking, <laughs> Yeah, okay? So you will never find it. Pencil should move in the same direction, then you will find the answer. Now let's see, question number 11, cafe. As chair of the town council subcommittee on park facilities, I'd like to bring you up to date on some of the changes that have been made recently to the Croft Valley Park. So if you could just take a look at the map I handed out, let's begin with a general overview. So, the basic arrangement of the park hasn't changed. 
It still has two gates, north and south, and a lake in the middle. The cafe continues to serve an assortment of drinks and snacks, and is still in the same place, looking out over the lake and next to the old museum. Looking out over the lake and next to the old museum. Now, next to and looking out. Clear? D is the right answer. So, 11, D will be the right answer. All clear? Looking out and next to. Yes. Now, we've got toilets. Question number 12. We're hoping to change the location of the toilets and bring them nearer to the centre of the park. As they're a bit out of the way at present, near the adventure playground, in the corner of your map. Near the advent. Now, she said we are trying to change it and bring it to middle. But at the moment, it's in the corner and next to adventure playground. I play this one again. We're hoping to change the location of the toilets. Okay, whenever they say we are hoping, we are planning, we are considering. After that, they don't have the right answer. Okay, at the moment, where it is. And bring them nearer to the center of the park. As they're a bit out of the way at present, near the adventure playground, in the corner of your map. Near the adventure playground, in the corner of your map, that is option C. C. B is not the corner. Yeah, it is near, but it is not the corner, right? Now, let's go on. Question number 13, formal gardens. Let's see where are these formal gardens. The formal gardens have been replanted and should be at their best in a month or two. They used to be behind the old museum, but we've now used the space near the south gate, between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake towards the old museum. All right. Yeah? Okay, that's right. Correct answer is option G. I play it again, don't worry. Now listen. The formal gardens have been replanted and should be at their best in a month or two. They used to be behind the old museum. They used to be behind the old museum, but now they are not there. Used to be is past tense. But we've now used the space near the south gate. Space near the south gate. First you come to south gate immediately. Between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake. Between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake. Past the lake means lake ke paas se guzar hai. That is option G. Park boundary and the way that goes past the lake. So G will be the right answer, right? Now let's go on. Question number 14, outdoor gym. We have a new outdoor gym for adults and children which is already proving very popular. It's by the glass houses, just to the right of the path from the south gate. You have to look for it, as it's a bit hidden in the trees. Good. It's a bit hidden in the trees. Glass houses, and it's a bit hidden in the trees. That is option H. So the language they are using, that's what you need to understand. In the corner, behind, next to, go past and all that. Let's go on. Question number 15. Stake board ramp. One very successful introduction has been our skateboard ramp. It's in constant use during the evenings and holidays. It's near the old museum, at the end of a little path that leads off from the main path between the lake and the museum. A. Hey, absolutely. See that? Museum and the little path that leads off the lake and all that. I play this one again. One very successful introduction has been our skateboard ramp. It's in constant use during the evenings and holidays. It's near the old museum, at the end of a little path that leads off from the main path at the end of a little path that leads off from the main path right between the lake and the museum between the lake and the museum so lake and museum little path that leads off okay next we've got uh, wild flowers we've also introduced a new area for wild flowers 
to attract bees and butterflies. It's on a bend in the path that goes round the east side of the lake, just south of the adventure playground. South of adventure playground and bend. That is option E. Okay, I play this one again. We've also introduced a new area for wild flowers to attract bees and butterflies. It's on a bend in the path. It's on a bend in the path. So bend is at option E. That goes round the east side of the lake. That goes round the east side of the lake. That path is going. Just south of the adventure playground. Just south of the adventure playground. That is adventure playground and downwards is south. Okay, so this is how you can practice and remember for maps, number one, the language, prepositions, language of directions, and then your pencil should move wherever they take you. Then you'll be able to find it. Okay, all right.